In this problem, we're told to use a calculator to take this expression, which is a function of x here, and to find values accurate to five decimal places and fill in this table. So for this x value, we'll put in a certain value for this expression, and so on, and fill in the whole table. And then using that table, determine the limit, and no note the limit here as x approaches 0. So look at the x values, negative 0.1, negative 0.01, negative 0.001. These three numbers are getting closer and closer to 0 from the left. And then here we have 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. These three numbers are getting closer and closer to 0 from the right. So 0 would be right here in the middle. We can't actually find the value of the expression at x equals 0 because we have a 0 denominator right there. Now the easiest way to get these numbers will be to put put this expression in as a function into the calculator and use trace. And we're told to use the calculator. So let's pull up the calculator here. And I have it typed in for y1, 1 minus cosine x over x. And we're, um, we're in radian mode. If you're not told radians or degrees, assume radians. So 1 over cosine x minus x, and if we graph this, Okay, we see a, a little bit of a curve there. I'm going to zoom in one time. Zoom and option two. See the shape of the curve a little better. And it certainly looks like the limit from both sides is approaching a value of zero. Let's just hit trace and type in negative 0.1 and hit enter. And it gives us negative 0 0.49958. Or, or to, to five decimal places, that's negative 0 0.04996. So let's write that in there. Negative 0 0.04996. We're told to do this to five decimal places. And then putting in the other values, I'll give you the numbers here. It's negative 0 0.00500. Notice that this number is a lot closer to zero than that one. And the next one is negative 0 0.00050. So this one, this one is even closer to zero. And then continuing here, let's uh, start over here at 0.1. We got positive 0 0.04996. And then at 0 0.01, we got 0 0.00, excuse me, 0 0.005000. And at 0 0.001, we had 0 0.00050. And sure enough, the number zero is the number exactly in between these two values and that's certainly what it looks like on the graph so we'll go ahead and put that as our answer and that is the correct answer the limit of this expression as x approaches zero is zero and you could see that on the graph when we graphed it on screen and you can also see it in this table of values and it's important to be able to see it both ways sometimes you might be given a graph or you just might be given a table of values or you might be given a mathematical expression and either way you need to be able to determine the the behavior of the curve and here's one more you, again use the calculator to find values of accurate to five decimal places and fill in the table and then from the information in the table determine the limit so here's our expression x to the power of 1 over 1 minus x and we want to find the limit of that expression as x approaches 1 so let's pull the calculator back up here and put in this. This is going to be x to the power of, and then you need parentheses here, 1 over, and you need parentheses again, 1 minus x. And then close parentheses, close parentheses, and punch graph. And we see some strange behavior here, and it looks like it's approaching a value uh, near x equals 1 and the tick marks on the axes there are one unit it's not at all clear what the value is we know that it can't actually have a value at x equals 1 because that would give a zero denominator in the expression and if we hit trace and put in an x value of 1 and hit enter notice we have no y value the function is not defined for x equals 1 but we can put in values close to close to 1 so if we put in x equals 0 0.9 and hit, hit enter, we get 0 0.34868. So let's write that, 
three, four, eight, six, eight, and I'll give you the other values here. At point nine nine is point three six six zero three, and at point nine nine nine, it's the the function has a value of point three six seven seven zero, and then to the right of one, we'll start over here at one point one. It's point three eight five five four. And I'm starting over here because I'm approaching a value of 1. At 1 1.01, it's 0 0.36971. And at 1.001, 1 .001, it's 0 0.36806. Okay, these numbers don't look particularly meaningful, but the an x value of 1 is going to be right in between these two values. So the value of the function, presumably, would at, at 1 or the limit at 1 would be right between those two values so if we average those two values that would be reasonable to expect that to be the limit so 0.36770 plus 0 0.36806 over 2 and that comes out to 0.36788 and one thing just to take note of, and I don't expect you to, to see this, but that, it turns out, is equal to 1 over e. So this is yet another expression that can be used to approximate a value for e. Now, if you don't see that, that's fine. We'll be talking more about e much later in the course. But for now, you should understand the process of using a table of values to find a limit at a particular x value.